there, today we're going to decode the ingredients in Bird's Bees Truly Glowing Night Cream. It's, um, the manufacturer says it's good for dry skin and it, is, um, uh, it gets a lot of moisture in the skin and it's excellent when you use it in the night time. So let's actually understand what each of the ingredients in the product do because we need to forget the marketing because that's all fluff. The only thing that doesn't lie are the ingredients. So we need to understand what each ingredient does in a product and then see if that, that actually matches the claim of the manufacturer. At skincabin.com, we only decode the first seven ingredients because uh, after that, the quantity is too less to make any significant impact on the skin. So let's get started. The first ingredient is water. Now water, what it does, it's actually diluting all the other ingredients, brings all the ingredients together. It kind of mixes them. It's a solvent. It gets all the ingredients together. It is important. Water plays an important role because if the ingredients are all by itself, then the product is not effective. It needs something to bring it all together so that it can mix together and do its magic on the skin. So the first ingredient is water. The next ingredient is caprylic capric triglyceride. Now what this ingredient does, it's usually derived from coconut oil. Uh, it is an emollient. An emollient forms a thin layer on top of the skin and um, it smoothens the skin and any rough patches it goes and fills it up and it just smoothens the skin. So it is effective, an emollient is effective for as long as it's on top of the skin. And it also prevents water loss through evaporation. It forms a thin barrier on top of the skin and prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment. Uh, an emollient is usually effective for as long as it's on the skin. The third um, ingredient is glycerin. The glycerin is a humectant. What a humectant does is it absorbs water from the atmosphere, from the environment and brings it to the surface of the skin. So it's actually hydrating the skin. Now glycerin is a very effective humectant and you will see a lot of manufacturers, they will use glycerin. There are a lot of other humectants as well, but glycerin is an effective humectant and it is also very affordable and that's why a lot of manufacturers use glycerin. So glycerin basically draws water from the atmosphere, brings it to the surface of the earth, surface, sorry, surface of the skin, sorry, oops, not the earth, surface of the skin, draws water from the environment, brings it to the surface of the skin and keeps the skin hydrated. Uh, that's, that's a moisture component. Now the next ingredient is bentonite. Now bentonite is a type of clay. What this does is if your skin has excess oil, it absorbs all that oil and gets rid of all the impurities. If there's any, basically if there's excess oil, it will clog the pores and then that does, uh, and there's some dirt and other things, they'll all go mixed together and they'll form, um, uh, they'll clog the pores together. So bentonite is a type of clay. Clay usually when applied on the face, it uh, brightens the skin by getting rid of all the excess oil and, uh, and keeps the skin smooth. Uh, the next one is mango butter dimer dilonyl esters. Now this is a uh, emollient. Now it's um it's an emollient as we just mentioned forms a thin layer on top of the skin and keeps the skin soft as for as long as it's on top of the skin and it also prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment. Now it's got a it's a mango butter so it's a plant extract. Now plant extract um the thing with the plant extract one has to be careful about is um uh the it's very variable uh, the mango butter that I would it, I would get in one place is very different to the mango butter I would get in another place. So it's very hard to generalize and say this is what a mango butter would do because a lot of it would depend on the soil, the climate, how it's been extracted. So it's not been made in the lab. So the the features and the benefits of it is variable. But generally, uh, the mango butter is an emollient. All that it would do is form a thin layer and keep it soft for as long as it's on top of the skin. Then we've got undercane. Undercane basically it adds a smooth texture to the product so that when you touch the product you have that smooth texture and it is also an emollient. An emollient forms a thin layer on top of the skin, prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment and keeps the skin soft and smooth for as long as it's on the skin. It fills up all the rough patches on the skin. 
Now, that final ingredient is squalene. Now, um, the skin, the visible layer of the skin has a very important function in maintaining the health of the skin. It acts as a first layer of defense. It acts as a shield. Many components on the first layer of the skin, on the first layer of the skin, on the many components of the visible layer of the skin come together and help it to act as a shield. It protects by act, when it acts as a shield, it prevents water from the deeper layers from evaporating and prevents attacks from the environmental nasties. Now, as we just mentioned, many components come together and help the skin perform this shield function. Now, one of the components is squalene. So this particular product has an ingredient called squalene. So that's a good ingredient. Skin recognizes that ingredient as one of its own and can help it. And that will help that ingredient being absorbed easily. So basically, it will help in strengthening the barrier function, the shield function of the skin. It is a seventh ingredient. So you know, the quantity used will be much less than the other ingredients. So that's about it. So let's just do a quick recap. So the manufacturer says it's excellent on the dry skin um, and it'll keep it very moisturized and um, uh, hydrated and it's very good for night time. Now the thing is the product has an ingredient called bentonite which is a clay. Basically a clay is absorbing all the excess oil. Now dry skin already has less oil. So I have, um, I'm not sure why bentonite is used in there because that would absorb the excess oil and dry skin has less oil anyway. So we don't want it to absorb the oil that it has very less quantity of to begin with and make it even drier. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And the mango butter is a plant extract and like I just mentioned, the, 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 the benefits of plant extracts, we cannot generalize, it varies. The predominant thing that this, um, uh, product has is um, two emollients. Emollients will keep your skin hydrated for as long as it's on the skin and it's got squalene which is the seventh ingredient. So um, yeah, so uh, there are not, there's, there's no ingredient in there which will get to the deeper layers and do some magic and help in the functional um, health of the skin as such. For as long as this is on the skin, it will help keep it, keep the skin um, are hydrated and moisturized so it's good for maintenance purposes but having said that i'm not sure about the clay in there because that can make the dry skin drier so that's about it if you found this video helpful you can also um head on to our website skincabin.com there you can type in a product and we'll decode the first seven ingredients of the product because forget the marketing forget the fluff always remember the ingredients ingredients are the only ones that don't lie if you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.